is that for me? Shalom and Sechus Orla. The article owes by the edition when I daf Gimel and Medalif. On the sixth line down, Madamila, which in the Vilna is on the Vez Medalif. The actually twelfth line down it is. Madamila. Maybe it's the 11th line down. Remember the 12th line down. The second one is line. Ma dummy. First one line is Bechat, the period, then Ma dummy. Okay, so we're talking, yesterday we said that uh, 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 she planted, uh, she planted an Esther for the mitzvah. That's uh, still Chayv and Orla because it has to be a pre in order to be a mitzvah. It has to be pre eight Sador. So therefore it's Chayv and Orla no matter what. And we're drawing an analogy to that now from uh, Hanukkah. I was saying that uh, what's analogous to what's analogous to that uh, to that case? Zayish not lalik bos a menorah. If you can plant an a, 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 a olive tree in order to produce oil to light for the Hanukkah, so even um, you know you p- p- plant it for the purpose of the mitzvah, but you have to burn olive oil in order to fulfill the mitzvah. So therefore, by definition, it's still chayv and orva. So the uh, Gemara asks, uh, uh, um, uh, um, Rabbi Yisrael Boon, Rabbi Yisrael says, Zed by Torah, B'Zem Divrem, B'at the Marachain, you can't make a parallel to Esrug. Esrug is me the Raisa. The Hanukkah is Rabbanan. So, a Mitzvah the Rabbanan is not going to exempt from Orla. Perhaps a Mitzvah the Raisa does exempt from Esrug. So, the, but uh, it's, it's just, uh, Wants you to be. We want you to be more precise. He says, "Ma da, uh, uh, What's the comparison? Zayish not to lali bosa menorah. Zayish is planted in order to light the menorah in the base of mikdash. Oh, then zed varter, zed varter, but both are raisa. And nevertheless, it's chayv norla because you're planting need olive oil in order to light the menorah in the base of mikdash. So therefore, uh, the uh, that's uh, olive oil and it's chayv norla in here too. It's a pre eight sador. You need to have uh, esrog fruit in order to be yotze mitzvah esrog. So therefore, uh, it's chayim and orah. Rabbi Shem Ben Yochim Bar Kumi Rabbi Yechanan. He 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 asked the the question uh, according to Rabbi Yosi in our Mishnah. Who was that? If you planted the inner side of a tree for food and the outside for a fence, that the inner side is chayim in orla and the outside is pata from orla. Okay, what a uh, um, uh, so he says, um, not to say tachton li siog, the elion, uh, uh, la You, um, he said, if you plant the bottom part of the tree for a fence, because let me use the bottom part of the tree for the fence, I guess the, the trunk and the old lower foliage, perhaps, the, uh, and the top part of the tree for food, then, uh, the I'm not even sure part of the foliage. The trunks, I guess. The trunks are for the um for food for for the the siog and the foliage is to produce fruit. So the um and siog machol fine. I understand the bottom is potter and the top is chayev. But tzara tachton lemachol ve'elion siog. Go to buy. We did the other way around. Uh, the bottom part and it has to include some foliage, obviously. You plant the food and the top part for siog. Which really the fence is usually down to the gro- down on the ground. So you plant the top part for siog. Does that work also to exempt the top part from uh, orla in this scenario? Says says Gemara. Yeah, I'm like here, da, here, da. Same thing. This is the same. This is the same. He he tzad tachon li siog el yom macho. Mezim you plant the lower part for the fence and the upper part for the food. He tzad el yom siog el tachon macho. Or whether you're planting the top part for the fence and lower part of the food. Well, the one has a very basic question now. Okay, so you're there. How do you know? How do you identify what's planted for Siog and what's planted for Macho? Uh, so, it's but if you do like our mission talking about Panimi and Chitz, I understand the inner the, that the outer part of the tree is the fence, and the inner part of the tree is for the um, is for the uh, is for the fruit. But how how do you divide uh, top and bottom? So the uh, uh, he explains. Uh, 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 you bring a branch of Messiah and you demarcate. So uh, you bring a um, 
somehow, I guess you train that branch to go the same direction, and it now becomes the sign up to here, up or down, or whichever direction, is the Lusyog, and up to here, and from here is the Macho. So we say, boy, we say, so uh, he said, I understand when the bottom part is the top part is the food. So since the uh, uh, the top part is uh, derived as uh, nourishment from the bottom part, and the bottom part does not derive nourishment from the top part, so therefore the bottom part can be siog, and the top part can be uh, can be food. But how can you say that? The top part is growing out of which you claim is for siog. It's growing out of the bottom part, which is for macho. So it's yoit, it's yoit him in a chiyuv. How does all of a sudden become potter? Because it's higher up. The other way around, I can understand. He's saying. It's saying uh, the the bottom part is for siog, that's part. The top part is for machal, that's chayev, fine. But how can you go, because the, the, the chayev is going from the p'tur. And you demark it. But when the p'tur is going from the chayev, how does it all of a sudden become butter after it grew out of the chayev? Rebizir uh, Kedaiti. Uh, and the Gemara says that Rebizir uh, um, uh, Follows the line reasoning for for which is known to us. Some Rabbis say Rabbi Yehuda. Some Rabbis say Rabbi Yehuda says the name of Rabbi Yehuda. But so Shikila Kerem, you have an onion which grew in uh in, in a vineyard, which made it also. Shakro you uprooted it, but Shaso and you replanted it. I feel most of Kama also, even if it grows many new leaves, it's also. Shein Gidule Iser Malin Esa Iser, the uh, uh the uh since the the these gidulim are growing out of Isser, out of the bulb, which came also because of Kilir Kerem, they remain also. You can't say, oh, out of Gidulim Isser, Ptura grows. Here too, you can't say, out of Gidulim Chiyu, Ptura grows. How can the top part be? It's, it's analogous. Just like there, whatever grows out of the onion bulb, which is also, remains also. Yet whatever grows out of the bottom part of the tree, which is Chiyu, remains Chiyu. Chai Ben Orla. Um, so the Gemara um, doesn't... Uh, well, it doesn't 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 uh, respond to this. It goes on to the next issue. And when you talk according to Rabbi Zira, you cannot plant the top of the shame siog and expect to be part there if the bottom part is planted plant for the purpose of macho. Okay, now so it goes on to the next case. Not only siog, you usually plant it for the purpose of offense. And then you say, you know what? Nah, I changed your mind. I'm going to use use it as a, uh, uh, for fruit. Well, in that case, Boba Machshava, the thought cancels. It's siog status and makes it a macho status. Ma, but what about the other way around? The macho v'chisho the siog. You initially planted it for food, and then you decide to change it to siog. Uh, uh, locally, menu. You can't. Uh, you, your mach, machshava can make it chayev. It was originally part of it. Your machshava cannot make it part of originally chayev. Um, not to shun rishon the siog. You planted for the first year, for the purpose of the fence. Mikam be'er from there and then chisho the macho. And then they change mind and decide it's going to be food. Became once the once you start once you had the thought to make it chayev, it should become chayev. Now the Chazanish explains and Leib Shlaim brings it down. When you thought at, at the time that uh, the uh, you planted the first year, that it should be for siog. But then uh, during the first year, you change mind and decide it should be tzarech macho. So now. You have in this tree in the first year combined a machshava of siog and machshava macho, and that we say the machshava macho makes that chayev in orla even immediately during the first year at the time of siog. So the later thought um, overrides the first thought, even for the, during the first year. Whenever you have the thought, and therefore from the, it comes chayev in orla from that time. Um. Uh, so, 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 so although it sounds in the Gemara we're talking about the first year versus the second year, Chan Jesus says no, sorry, but even the first year itself, right? Not that Shani 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 and the outer side is made for siog. Hapni mi chayav v'achitz on potter. This is uh, um, uh, the, the here too. Let's say the first year which you planted it, the siog it's mutter, 
and whatever goes after the machshava is also right? How does the word retroactively? Just like you divide the tree in half in the in its volume, divide the tree in half in its time, right? So just like you divide the tree in half between chitz and pnimi, chitz and siyag and pnimi is machal. So too, okay, yes, you had the thought in the middle of the first year, but so what? Let at least whatever was grow grew till you had that thought. Be put to Norla, and only the things which came afterwards be high of So instead of dividing it again by uh, physically, divide it in terms of its time. Interesting, bar- interesting uh, 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 continuum there. So the Gemara rejects this. Gemara says, Taman, Lamacho, Lamacho, Elam. Whatever you designate for food, you have to be food forever. The Siog, the Siog, the Alvar part is always going to be always. You, uh, 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 let's of course change your mind later on. But uh, the um, the outer part is always Tiyog, the inner part is always uh, Michael, and they retain their distinction and their separateness. Here, when you mixed in, as the Chazni Shav is learning within the first year, you mixed in the thought of Chiyuv, then that makes it Chayv. It's not separate, it doesn't mean because of the ad mixing into the year, thought of the first year. The, uh, the the that already becomes chayiv and orla from during that first year. The next line, the tol shol shanim siyag mikam el chishav lemaachol. The gra takes it out from here. Uh, it appears in the in the article and um, like in the Vilna in the Gemara itself here, but uh, the uh, gra takes it out and puts it later on, as we shall see. So he start and instead of sit with us, veho sit with us. So tosaf tosaf, it has ho sit of to to us. So this beginning of a discussion. Um, so sit to to tosaf to mahu. He puts the word mahu as well. The gra. So when a fruit grew with the machshav of siog, and then he thought about them to for the machshav. He thought about for Michael, and. Uh, um, and evidently, the the first fruit grow complete, Machshav Siyog, and uh, then you had this. Uh, no, actually, when the the uh, you had the fruit. I guess he's following along this line. So, but you start off with the fruit thing of the Siyog, and then you had this new thought from Machshav. So, what's the status of the Tosefes? Rabbi Yirmiya Omar. A Tosefes Potter. Now, this is specifically talking about here. Says Levi Ushlaim. The first third was part of from Arla, right? The, it's, if the fir- entire first third was part of Arla, so then the Tosefes is part as well. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Tosefes Potter. Uh, Bar Mar Tosefes Chayv. Rabbi Sibor says no. Once you thought about the Tosefes for Macho, that's it. It becomes Chayv, uh, or that Tosefes comes Chayv in Arla. So uh, I, I I'm not sure that um, I'm not sure how to configure this with the previous Gemara. Um, the Chazanish is shot there. I guess the Chazanish definitely is talking about a case where it hadn't grown a third yet when you uh, had that new thought. So I see the art scroll. He does not learn like the Chavonish. He learns. He brings down that parb shot, but he he learns primarily, um, initially at least, uh, the um, that the Azim and the Chul and the grew so. But that's so about before. So about the f- first year was entirely for Siog, and then um, the next years were for Macho. And uh, the point is that it could, could change in midstream. It changes midstream. As different than chitz and pnimi, but uh, and then over here, the so the hositva to the softa would say about when you change in the first year itself midstream. But according to the chaznish, the pshat would be that in fact you changed it right after initially planting it for the purpose of siog. You changed it for the purpose of uh, michael before the shlish. Okay, and then now the question Rabbi Yimri is about is shlish. So according to the more uh, to the article's uh, primary mahalach, again, before in the case of the Torah, um, it's 
first year of Siog set and then subsequently Macho and it changes midstream. And here it's about within the first year, but a- after is maybe Shlish. And that's Machlokas Rabbi Yirmiya and Rabbi Ba. According to Chaznish, there it's talking about where you change it immediately. Within the first third. And now we're talking about where you change it after the first third. So again, Hosi Tfuto Safto, Amau, Rabbi Yirmiya Amar, the Sefes Potter, the because the first third group of tours, so then it stands, uh, keeps it stands the Potter, Rabbi Yirmiya Amar, the Sefes Chaim, the Sefes Chaim. Amar Rabbi Yirmiya said, her daughter, Rabbi Yirmiya, Mishamia Kasha. Uh, th- uh, that which R- Rabbi Yirmiya said seems it's a, uh, 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 the, the, seems I have a kasha Rabbi Yirmiya, but Ellen, uh, of a lacy, Ellen Nicha. It's not really, I don't really have a question. It actually works out fine. Uh, uh, Tani, and like we, uh, learned in Ebrisa, uh, Sada Shevia Shlishif Negoi, a Sada which grew a third in, uh, uh, under the auspices of a guy, the Lacha Yisrael, and then a Jew bought it. Rabbi Akiva married Tosef as Potter. Akiva says, which sounds like Rabbi Yirmiya, that Tosef is his Potter. Chachomim Omrim, that Tosef is Chayev. Chachomim say whatever grows after, after you purchase it, even though you purchase it after it grew a third, it's Tosef is Chayev. V'hacha Ikara Potter with Tosef to Chayev. And um, so, okay, well, actually the question is obvious, right? So since you only chachomim and not Rabbi Kiva, so it's a kash Rabbi Yirmiya. Oh, it's a Tosef as Potter. So the Hacha is actually uh, uh, an answer. The Hacha, he called a Potter Tosef to Tosef to Chayev. Can you say in terms of Orla the Iker's Potter and Tosef is Chayev? Since the Chayev of Orla is takes effect at the time of planting, and then it's Potter. What whatever is uh, ad, ad, ad comes after this also potter. In other words, well, he called potter to self to chayv. You can't say that. Meiser is different. Whatever is god of tour is tour. Whatever is god of a chayv is chayv. So we buy the shot more, which Levi Shlaim brings down. So again, the, the, it looks like it was difficult because chayv would say that to self is chayv, but it's not really difficult. Why? Because there's different Meiser. What uh, uh, it's not or uh, uh, according to chayv, it's not. Determined by the time of planting, it's determined uh, because uh, it's not really totally machshava, right? Like Orla is, so therefore, since machshava is not a factor, first third could be potter, the second two two thirds could be chayev. But here, because it has to do with machshava at the time that you planted it, and that take took effect for a third, then afterwards it can become chayev again, right? That's where the, now the, at this point the the Levi Yushalayim puts in the part which it was took out before. The Shol Yushalayim Yisrael Mekam El Chishol Lamacho. But that is already a new case. And um, the um, already on Dalit Rav, so we'll leave that, although we'll have to insert it tomorrow, we'll leave that insertion for tomorrow's Daphiomi.